What's up everybody, it's your boy Jeremy, and today we are starting our playthrough in 7 Days to Die, which is a cool zombie survival crafting game. Um, so yeah, we're just going to hop right in. Um, when I record this, we'll probably do 1 or 2 days worth, um, just depending on how much I have to cut, because a lot of this game is like kind of like mining, you know, in uh, for example like Minecraft, you know, you gotta get certain blocks to build certain shit so um and the crafting does take time so i'll probably cut out little bits and pieces where i'm just waiting stuff to finish crafting so but i want to say each in-game day is about 20 or so minutes um in real life so probably probably has to be like a day or two in each episode with cutting and such alrighty so basic survival is your active quest which we see on the right and it just kinda tells us how to get shit going go ahead and craft our basic little materials I already know I'm gonna need like 35 of these for some other shit we gotta make Yeah, let's go ahead and search this shit right here too. So, um, I think our first goal, or our, like main goal for this first episode, will be kind of trying to find a place to settle down. Is that? No, it's just a stock. Alright. And, uh, yeah. So, the idea place for us to settle down is probably going to be either in a tundra biome or if we can find like an apartment building those are great places to settle down um although i think um with the recent update they did fix the cooling problem um characters were having so now we don't have to run around as naked so um, the tundra biome isn't really a must anymore, but it is very nice. Alright, so, got our axe. Now it's going to want us to make clothes, which I've already collected enough for. Alright, so uh, we need... There's one you don't have to make. I think it's a hat. Yeah. Oops. Alright, so um, if you haven't picked up this game, I highly recommend it because it's really fun. And it's like, I think I paid $30 for it. But it is completely worth the money, in my personal opinion. Especially hey, if you have like a few friends to sit around and play it with. Um, I think you can play it with up to three other people. So I'm um, four in one game. If not, it's really fun um, by yourself as well. Just walking around trying to survive. Um, which, speaking of, you will most likely see some other people jump in. Um, I don't know if how often they're going to be in episodes, but you will definitely see other people. That and since it's an online match, um, just randoms can join um, here and there. Which, if that happens, we will deal with them accordingly we'll try and be friendly but um i don't like people fucking with my shit so we'll probably end up killing anyone that joins rotting flesh yes why not all right so a big thing i discovered about this game is there's not a lot of places you find guns besides like gun safes and stuff like that but for some reason, I always find pistols in toilets, so I always 
you'll always hear me talking about toilet pistols when we find a toilet. And there's nothing in that one, but, you know. I promise you, toilet pistols are a real thing. Right, so we're going to mine this for the cloth so we can make bandages and stuff if we need it. But we are not going to settle down at this house. Need something a little more sturdy and this will take a lot of work. Well, not too, too much work to get running again, but um, I'd rather try and find like an apartment building. But if we have to, we can uh, sort of make our own house. This had an upper floor. But the stairs are decayed. Hey, let's head on now. What the fuck is that? National Forest, U.S. Department of Agriculture. Neat. Alright, so um, usually when I played, I played on like a procedurally generated... Is it procedure generated? Anyways. Oh, fuck me! Oh, we're dead. We're dead. We are fucking dead. So bears are the worst fucking thing in this game. And if you encounter one, you will die. Alright, he's gonna break through that in like two fucking seconds. So we need to go through this window and run. Oh, we are so fucked. Like, literally, bears will kill the dick off of you so fucking quickly. It's my worst fear. No, let me jump. Fuck. Right, I'm really surprised I didn't fucking break that door. Oh, God. Fucking get out of my way, please. Hey, where's the bear? Oh, fuck. Alright, let's just run this way. Give me the fucking rock. Alright, so if you, if, you, if you ever fucking see a bear... Sorry, I'm stuttering. I'm really... Really, really, really scared. If you ever see a bear in this game, just fucking run the complete opposite way. Even if you have guns, bears are just complete fucking assholes. Alright. So let's go see if we can find a tundra area or a... Um, apartment building. Apartment buildings are the best... Um, there's lots of floors and it's really hard to break down. What is this? See, this is the kind of like pre-made world that the developers worked on. So there's a lot of new stuff. Like, I've never ran into one of these before. In my old game. Oh, zombies. Zombies are pretty tough. Um... In this game, like a group of them can be pretty deadly. So we're gonna try and pick them off one by one. Let's back up and craft. Get fucked. Get fucked, bitch. What'd you have on you? Not shit. What the fuck? Is that another bear? I hope not. Hey, and when they're on the ground, get that three times damage. Let's turn into like little puddles of gore when you kill them too.
You gotta be careful, they're stronger in the dark. Oh, I'm bleeding. No. Yeah, this place has nothing. Ooh, blueberry seeds. That's good. We need that blubbery. Cloth from this tent. Yes, give me all the cloth. Oh, yeah. So, um, there's like more realistic physics and stuff, like, you can't just put random blocks in the air. And expect them not to fall. Because, you know, gravity. Gravity's legit in this game. Unlike, uh, like, games like, uh, similar games like Minecraft, you can kind of just place blocks everywhere. It's unlike that in this game. So, for example, another reason why I didn't want to kind of hold up in that wooden house back there is because if they, like, uh, on, like, every seven days a horde, a big horde of zombies come, and... Um, if they destroy that, like, the pillars of the house, um, the whole house will collapse and kill me while I'm inside. Like, if I was to hide on the bottom, or the top floor, they destroy everything underneath me, it falls, and it's very bad. We need that goldenrod, make some goldenrod tea. That way we don't die of dysentery. I don't want to go through that forest, so we're going to try and stay on the edge of it. Just because your temperature goes up really high. Ooh. Nice little tent area. Let's see, use this wooden club. It's pretty... A lot better than the one we had. Can die already. I need a bow and arrow. Hey, fuck. Oh god. All right, so we are already infected, which means we need to find some antibiotics. If not, we will die. I think. Within like 24 hours, we start to die. Fuck, we're bleeding too. Yeah, we need to make a bandage. Or else we are fucked. Fuck off! So this is not good already. Oh fuck, we need stuff. Hey, we're gonna keep running for now. Let's get a little distance. 
on them. And we're going to uh, salvage some of this shit. That way we can make room for other stuff. Oh, yes. All right, so there's some coal over there. We're going to need a lot of that, so let's... Um, bullet casings are useful. Break that down. Uh, we don't really... Yeah, we can wear these. How much does increase the heat? <sighs> 10 degrees. Um, no, we're not gonna wear this, so we'll scrap these. Scrap that, scrap these. We'll drop this, because we can find a bunch of those. Ooh, we actually found a pistol book, that's good. So once we read this, We'll be able to craft uh, pistol ammo, I believe. Actually, I think we have to buy the skill perk for it, but we found the book, so. Um, we can assemble a pistol once we find all the parts and stuff for it, which we can usually find pistol parts fairly easy, especially... Uh, we don't need this. Um, especially with airdrops and stuff. Although the bulk of airdrops are usually uh, health supplies. Which I won't turn down right now because we really need to find antibiotics. So I'll probably like cut out some of these parts like this where I'm just mining on shit. And so we made a bow. Still gonna have to make arrows, so. which we get from. I get the feathers from little birds' nests. We'll find over the place. Is this soul trait powder? It is. That's the name of that, right? Nitrate powder. powder. This right here we use to make gunpowder. Um. But that'll be way later on. But we're going to go ahead and stock up. For when we do get to that point. Alright, so we need to find a place to settle. Hopefully we can make a forge and find the stuff for that pretty quickly. But yeah. Alright, as much as I didn't want to go down this way, we're going to go. But we're going to stick to the path. Um... And just kind of loot whatever we find. Nope, we're going the other way because there's fucking bear right there. It's cool I didn't want to go this way anyways, bear. Fucking sweet. There's some gunpowder right there. So I hope you guys are doing right. I hope you guys are enjoying um, all the stuff we've uploaded. It was it's really funny because I've been thinking about how lately we've like the main thing that we upload are like zombie games and stuff to do with zombies, <laughs> like Dying Light and um, uh, State of Decay. I played a little How to Survive um, a little while back. Um, we recorded some Nazi zombies, or whatever the zombies in Call of Duty. Um, I don't think I ever uploaded that video, though. Um, but yeah, zombies are really big. Yeah. I, 
I am a big fan of the whole zombie craze and whatnot. Motherfucker, I forgot how quickly stone axes go. Especially, um, from the beginning. Uh, we need... Wood. I think we're out of... Let me go punch this fucking tree. Well, what the fuck do we need? Plant fiber. Sorry about that, everyone. Ooh, I also want to um, take this time to thank all of you who have subscribed to the channel. Um, we hit our 800 subscriber milestone, so that's pretty dope. I'll probably be making um, a special video or doing something special for that. If you have anything uh, special you want me to do, um, leave a comment down below. I might, uh, might, uh, Maybe like a game or something you want me to play. Or, I don't know. Maybe we'll do a giveaway. We shall see Dursville. Oh, we found Dursville. Why do I keep saying Ville like that? Dursville. We might fucking settle down here. Unless that's a bear over there. Then we're gonna run. I think it might be a bear, you guys. No, it's not a bear. Just a zombie. Oh, no, it's a bear. It's a fucking bear. Right, we're just gonna... We're gonna avoid this side of town. Because I kind of want to stay in Dursville. Because it reminds me of Durs from Workaholics. So we'll just... Uh, go to this part of town. Near our bedroll. And I think uh, this is where we'll settle down for now. This house looks pretty decently fortified, so we'll camp here. Oh, there's a fucking dog. Zombie dogs are quite annoying. Oh my god, don't kill me! Alright, so... Oh, fuck me. Oh. Right, we need to find a place to put a bit roll. Really quickly before we fucking die. So let's break into this awesome house that we want to use. And of course it's locked. Are there zombies inside? I sure hope not. That asshole's coming. Oh my god, why is it so fucking quick? Yeah, let's throw him outside. Okay, let's make a new door. back, throw our new door up, and reinforce it a little bit. Alright, so that's the best we can do. Oh fuck. Alright, let's go upstairs. And hopefully find a safe place. Or a safer place, I guess. Yeah, 
Here we go. The attic. Alright, they are fucking shit up down there, so we're gonna build a campfire. Cook. No, not really, but it's good for a light source. We will make a secure chest so that way we can put our shit in it. Alright, sorry. Alright, now we will craft. or we'll lay down our bed. Actually, we already did that, so we got our save point set. Now we'll make a secure chest. Throw all our shit in here. Then we're gonna go down and try and fight off some of these assholes. Alright. So we're probably gonna die, but that's alright, because we'll come back here. God, that's horrifying. Oh, wait. So antibiotics? No. Maybe a toilet pistol? Nope. Alright, let's go downstairs and try and kill as much as we can. If I can find the fucking stairs. Oh god. They're really attracted to that corner. Oh fuck, I'm bleeding. Damn it, we're gonna die. Bleh! Alright, so like that, we have already perished. Luckily. Alright, so we're gonna spawn... We'll spawn on our bed. Just cause it's close to... the time of night when everything gets... really, really crazy. Back to clearing out our land. Let's go ahead and take this splint and bandage. Oh god. Fuck off. Fuck off. Is it dead? I guess we can't search it. Ah! Ah, you fuck. Get the fuck out of my home. It's my house now, motherfuckers. Oh god. Damn it, there's so many of them.
So, new plan. First of all, I'm going to put my contact back in. Damn it, contact, please. spawn near and try and draw them away so I think that's the house we're in no it's over here Alright assholes, leave my house. Alright, they should all start actually running now. So I'm gonna try and taunt as many of them we, as we can. Oh, let's actually get them to follow me over by this bear. And hopefully the bear will kill them all. Alright, I think the bear was over here. Oh, fuck! No! Don't stun me! Holy shit, they can fucking run. Alright, bear, where were you? Come get me. Do your worst. Oh, Come on. I think I heard the bear. Damn it, bear, where are you when I need you? Ooh, what's that? <gasps> that looks like a tall building. We're gonna explore that when it gets daytime. Alright, so we died again, but. So we're going to spawn on our bed this time. And hopefully the bottom floor is clear. Although we're just going to stay up here until night passes. So what I'm going to do is, there's not really a lot we can do this night um, until we have like a bunch of uh, materials I usually use night as like my crafting time. So um, I'm just going to sit here and I will... Skip to when it's daytime. See you guys in a bit. Alright everyone, welcome back. And it is almost daytime as you can see. They'll stop sprinting officially at 6 o'clock. You've stopped a good bit of our coal. But luckily, as you can tell, it burns for a long, long while. Still got 70 minutes worth of fuel in there. Okay, let's go ahead and start heading back down. We'll reclaim our bag we lost. Try and take out any zombies. Still here. Alright, so we got one. I'm trying to ease to our bag, back it up. Oh, fuck me.
Uh, here he comes. Of them are outside. So we're gonna get stuff to make. Can we make another stone axe? No, not yet. Alright. So let's go search the town a little bit. So it saves where our house is right there. Um, search some of these little surrounding houses in the area. need to stock up on food and water if we can. Ooh, does it have? Nope. We need a cooking pot too. Uh, we can boil murky water into drinkable water. And it lets us cook some more foods. God, I wish I could see. Case. So bookcases are really good because they have um, like little skill books. For example, the one we picked up that taught us how to make pistol stuff. So you're always going to want to search bookcases if you find them. Ooh, this dude had magnum parts. That's really good because magnum's pretty fucking beast. Just got to be able to assemble the parts so we're gonna have to find the book for the magnum toilet pistol yes i fucking told you fucking toilet pistol yes all right so got our first real fucking weapon um unfortunately though we don't have much ammo for it which, um, we can, um, once we get our gunsmithing up a little more, we can buy this perk. So we just gotta get our gunsmithing up to 10, and then we can buy the, um, thing to be able to make 9mm rounds, which I don't think it takes too much. So, um, we'll be good. And I don't think there's... Nope, that's all to this house. Let's see if anything useful is in the garage. Fucking 
damn it, axes go so quickly. It's so annoying. Sneaky little fuck. Yeah, just got a bed. Nothing too useful. Okay. Ooh, got some meat. Excuse me, that zombie's probably fucking pissed. Ooh, okay, so we found some fucking feathers. So now we can make arrows. We can only make a couple right now, but... Is better than none. Actually, we can only make one right now. But the bow and arrow is actually pretty strong for the for a kind of starting weapon. Oh, we found a book. Damn it! I'll be right back. The phone's ringing. All right, sorry about that, everyone. All right, let's do a little more looting, and then I think we'll end this first episode. Um, when night comes. So we'll probably... These episodes will probably be one day at a time, because days actually last fairly decent. Um, gonna want to get set up in this little town. Kind of fortify it a little for when... Um, that way we can survive the first horde, which comes on day seven. And then uh, we'll work on branching out. Um, we need to try and get our forge. And... Stuff like that, that way we can start making things like a mini bike. Um, cause the mini bike will be extremely useful. Um, when trying to search, so we can just ride that around and check out new areas until we discover somewhere else that we want to uh, move to. That's a TD nightstand. Something that we also really need, which comes in handy. Um, Especially in my other world, is a mining helmet, because then you always have fucking light and you can always see. So we're gonna try and locate one of those. Although, you know, they're just kind of randomly placed. And pills. Alright, let's go check this place out. <gasps> what is this? This fucking... Is this a hospital? Oh my god, it is. Shit, dude. We might fucking stay here. Check this fucking place out. Poppin' pills. Hey, we're actually... We'll save that for day two, because it's going to take a little, not day two, but um, the next episode, because it's going to take a little while to actually explore that thing. Um, and maybe I will have somebody to assist me in it. But we'll go ahead and search like these cars outside and stuff. Oh, we leveled up to level two, so we got five skill points. Which is good. Alright, let's see. What do we need to make a forge again? Right, 
right, so we're going to need small stone, lump of kale, clay, bellows, and short iron pipe. Um, all that's easy to get, um, except for I think the bellows is a little difficult. Need wood, animal hide, and short iron pipe. So um, the hardest thing to get is probably going to be the animal hide because we got to do a lot of hunting. So let's try and spend the rest of this day finding stuff for arrows. That way we can go hunting. And the next, see, I'm already planning out like the next few episodes worth of stuff. Because so we need to do a lot of hunting for arrows. We need to search this entire fucking badass hospital, which. We might end up moving to. Does it have a wall behind it? What's this? See, I like this already way more than I did um, the kind of world we just the randomly generated world. Because it has a lot more cool like structures and stuff you can kind of post up in. Um, those little tin can candy tins I'm getting are really important too. Because um, you can turn them into mines for zombies so just another tip uh if you do buy this game and you stumble across them really useful let me check this out a lot of times there's safes in the back of these <gasps> oh fucking no we're going for the airdrop all right that's how we're gonna end this most likely go for this airdrop airdrops are fucking great we're actually getting pretty hot to. We're gonna drink some water. Um, let's go ahead and mark that on the map. Because it's probably, yeah, it's a little ways out. Alright, so we got that marked because it will disappear off the map um, until you get close to it sometimes. Alright, so we'll do a little collecting of supplies on the way as well. Let's go ahead and read that skill book we got earlier, MacGyver's book. So this is really good. Um, it lets you learn the recipe for a bunch of like scrap materials. So we can make a little better gear later. Um, in finding duplicate books, you're not gonna wanna um, scrap them. Um, cause I did that at first. It only really gives you paper. Um, but if you read them, even though you already know the recipe, it'll increase your, um, skills. So I highly recommend reading them, even if you've already found the book before. Unless you like completely max out your skills and it's, might as well just use it for paper, which paper, um, seems really pointless, um, in the early game, but I think later on you can use it for dynamite. God, I love this game. I can't wait until we get a couple more people in here. And, uh... That way things progress. So, I believe this right here is clay. So, let us make a stone shovel. And collect this, because we need it for the forge. And the forge is really fucking important, because you need it to make, like, almost fucking everything. Um, higher tier. Yes, this is clay. So, we're going to sit here and collect this clay, because... We definitely need it. Alright, so I'll probably just skip ahead a little bit from once I'm done collecting the clay. Alright, so that's enough clay for now. Um, got like 200 pieces. We'll go ahead and mark this area right here though. That's like a cool little design. Um, we'll just do an X. We'll do exits for like resource type markers. But yeah, as you can see, there's a good bit of clay over here, so. Uh, anyways, back towards the airdrop, which we really need, because um, it's going to have usually a lot of medical supplies, which is important to stock up on, especially early game, in case you get like infected like we did earlier. Okay, the airdrop's right over this little hill, so it didn't land really far. A lot of times you'll have to travel a long, long distance. Ooh. And there's more clay 
and a snow biome over there. Which is really great, because uh, there's some achievements that I need snow biome to attain. Alright, here's our first supply drop. And we have a challenge, which are like things you read and uh, you get little um, certain stuff for completing them. We're going to read this iron chest armor schematic. Fucking badass. Uh, we got a beaker, which helps you, um, you put it in the campfire and it lets you craft additional stuff like that. Antibiotics, which is the stuff we needed earlier. And some more first aid supplies. So unfortunately there was no guns or anything in that one, but um, we can't complain because we got a lot of important stuff that we need anyways, so. Let's head back now. Careful there's no lumberjack zombies. We're pretty fucking full on things. There's more clay. This area is barren with, or not barren, um, uh, abundant with clay, which is really good because in the later game stuff, we're going to need a lot of it, especially for bullets and such. Look at all the fucking clay. I like that. Let's get back and we will look about for some feathers that we can get shit set up for next game or next day. Probably get a little bit of wood too and uh, yeah that's what we'll do. We'll get some wood and put up some spike traps around the house. That way to ward off some of the zombies. Some max we can craft. Oh, that sounds good. You know what? We should probably should have made another stone axe before we did that. But It's good though because it's cooling us off because I know our temp kind of spiked a little bit earlier. Oh fuck. Hey, we'll get our axe back in a minute. Let's go back towards our home. Ooh, we need to kill that dog for its leather. Oops, I think I actually shot that one in the back. Ah, oh, 
Oh fuck, I don't think I can collect it without a hunting knife. All right, let's settle down in our house. Let's craft a new fucking door first, because I forgot they ripped our other one off. Who the fuck do you think you are? Working in my fucking house. Oh my god, dude. Why is there so many fucking zombies around the house? Need to get his wooden spikes set up. Alright, we're doing pretty, pretty good now. Just gotta get some more of these spikes laid out. There's a zombie in a house. Sure sounds like it. Alright, oh well. Alright, we should be pretty good for the moment. Um, we're definitely going to do a little more like landscape and get rid of a lot of this uh, plant fiber right here. And do a few more like better repairs. If we even stay in this house, we might move to a different one. Just got to check out the locale. 
And then there's the um, hospital we might move to anyways. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and throw in a new door. And we'll probably craft a couple things. Then we'll call it a, call it an episode. Oh, I think I exhausted all my wood, so. The night is dark and full of terrors. So subscribe and make the Lord of Light happy.